many a times, many a times. There have been times when um, I have sat and cried. There have been times I've just walked out of the office saying that I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. There have been times that I've had conversation with my Lord saying that, why have you put me in this situation? Now that you've brought me in here, it's your responsibility to take me out of this situation. And there have been times when I have cried out and said, that's the end of it. But um, every time I do that, immediately I see that there's a way forward. Um, there was a time in about six years ago when I said, I've had it because there was a huge resource crunch in times so in terms of funding I had to downsize and personally also I was going through a lot of um, uh, economic crisis so I said Lord you brought me here I have children who are in school I need to be able to support them I have a staff whom I have to support and I have these poor women whom I believe that you you have brought me to this space to help them and you put me in a situation where I can neither go forward nor go backwards. What is it that you want to do? So I remember this. Um, I had gone in to do a field visit to one of the most poorest states of the country, Bihar. And at that point in time, this particular area was completely Naxal infested. That is extremist militants were uh, being there. So there was nothing, every, nobody wanted to go in there. And that's the place that we went in to do a field visit. Then I come back from the field visit to Varanasi, which is supposed to be the oldest temple town in history. Okay, so the headquarters of my partner organization was in Varanasi. I'm sitting in this hotel room and that morning I have to go and do the presentation and uh, I'm at an extreme low because here I have been praying to God saying I'm going through so much of crisis in my personal life, in my professional life and now you bring me here and take me to this remotest places which is completely Naxal infested where the um, uh, even uh, the school and the primary health centers have blown up by militants, by bombs one week before I had gone there. You take me in there, you show me the poverty and you're not giving me a way forward. And uh, next day morning, I just open up my Bible, I read and I'm sitting there praying, God, I don't know what you brought me here for. I have asked you, I want to leave. I want to quit. I'm done with this work. I want to get to the corporate world where I can make my money. Okay, and support my family. And here you brought me here and there is no way that I can go back. What are you trying to do? And that was the first time ever I felt I was deep in meditation and praying after I've done my morning daily verses reading. And I see Jesus put his cloak around me and give me the security and say, this is the place where Jesus is sitting with the children. If you remember the way that it is depicted with the kids around and the cloak around. So I feel the cloak around me saying that I'm here to protect you. 